So now today we will have a knowledge debate. I don't remember the last time we had the last debate when, but now we have another one. And this is about we should read like paper newspaper or the internet newspaper. Uh -huh. So which one do you choose? I think I prefer reading newspaper more. So I think you'll prefer online newspaper. Yes, of course. So give me your reason. Why you choose that? Well, the reason that I choose that choose that is because you will see more information you will find much news related to your country easily like you will you no need to open a website mm -hmm. if you read on a phone or on a computer you have to open many websites on different area but mm -hmm. if you read on a newspaper in a newspaper or like a magazine it will have different fields sports fashion um, yeah, like different fields about cooking or food or drinks, etc. And you can just read directly. Because if you read on your phone and you want to search about sports or fashion, you have to open a different website. You can't just read on one newspaper. And also, like, although it doesn't look very attractive, but when you know some benefits of reading newspaper, I think it's way better than read online newspaper. Yeah. You say that we have a new one, but you can see that if you have a phone, it'd be more convenient because it is more and we can know it in our hand. And so, by the way, I, we can um, upload the information uh, anytime and anywhere. You don't have to uh, wait. You don't have to, for example, when you be in this area or be you be in a very different uh, area, but you can still like contact with the same information that upload to the internet and uh, so that i think is the most convenient because the information can be uploaded like the fastest uh, the, it, it by the way that because of the uh, because of the internet so we can uh, we can have we will find and we can read some information the fastest maybe uh, the first second they upload so maybe the second one you can read that well, you say it's very fast, right? Mm -hmm. That is true, but for one thing. You also said that we can read anywhere we like, but when we read it, it will require data or Wi-Fi to get access to it. So if we don't have Wi-Fi, maybe you said that you can read it anywhere we like. Maybe at a bus station or maybe at a restaurant. Well, for a restaurant, we can ask for their Wi-Fi, but maybe at a bus station, a train station, yeah, train station makes more sense. A train station. Well, there is no Wi-Fi or no internet, so we can't read newspaper online. But, but now we have three G or four G, so that is very convenient. You don't have to worry about that. Well, even though we have three G or four G, but it's also not as convenient if we have access to Wi-Fi because even though we have that, many people said we can read, we can read newspaper even when there's out of electricity. But it's not as very good. Sometimes when we read it, it's quite not very convenient and just a little bit too refuse on that. So it also costs a lot of electricity bill. <laughs> so I will show you that the different the benefit that the paper never have. Because you can see that the newspaper, you read every day in the paper. Uh, so it has to take time. It has to like be... Um, so um, people, the reader, have to wait until regular time. So for example, a magazine is say that at 9 uh, a.m. every day, so we'll, it will like, um, deliver the newspaper to every house that they buy the newspaper. So people have to wait. But with the internet, so we can read, so we can read anytime and maybe one information, one news, that just upload on the internet. We can it. Uh, we can read it immediately. Well, yes, we can read it immediately. But you know, before that news is uh, like uploaded on the internet, it has to be written on a newspaper first. Mm -hmm. Yes, so of course. When we read newspaper, we can like read it faster than online, right? Because we need to get down to paper first, and then it's online later. No, so you under you don't understand because you can say that not many newspaper many news that like you can see that many people they have a website or for example maybe some 
uh, some company they uh, made about the the works on news so they can upload on the internet and you can see that now it appear more and more company that it works on internet um, uh, it works on internet and the fuels is about on news every day uh, uh, about some uh, information that we have to get every day so it changed just into post onto the internet they don't like um, they don't publish in the paper well well you said that they don't publish in the paper anymore when then you were wrong like you're talking about website but we're talking about newspaper mm -hmm. we're reading about the news but for the website it's completely different and for each news like there are Tangian newspaper or Nanda newspaper, many, many newspapers. And all of that, it is both online and both newspapers. And when there's a news in each of them, the newspaper is often like published first and then it is on the phone. Mm -hmm. But you can see that like maybe it have, so maybe you, they can post on the internet and that meanwhile, like at the same time, they also publish on the paper. But you have to wait for a long time. So I think that why should you wait? Mm, otherwise, you can read it on the internet faster. Like faster, but it was electricity. And also, there are not, you have to know that. Let me show you some advantages when reading in the newspaper. Not every news on your phone it is good news. Some news are fake, right? And sometimes we don't even know that we're reading fake news. But when we read the newspaper, we'll know for sure that we will never read fake news because if we read fake news, then why don't we read newspaper? Because newspaper, they have to be like read and then checked many, many times before they published. So it's okay to wait for a little bit, but at least we're reading like true news. It's not fake news. But on your phone, maybe they're not wait and they just publish right away. So you don't even know what, what are you reading. It's maybe fake news or maybe true news. Sometimes we, you don't even know that. Yeah. So now you can see that uh, you, now you can see that we can get information by many ways. You can get news by many ways. We can listen to the radio. You can watch TV. We can read the newspaper or we can read on the Internet. But on the Internet, we have many benefits. And the most one that no the that the no other ways we uh, it can have is that uh, on the internet we can store we can uh, we install information and it easy for us to find that again maybe you want to find some information that you have read like four weeks ago or maybe the last year you want to show me so you can like type in the internet you search uh, from the topic. Or maybe you search for a time, or maybe if you remember the title, you can uh, you can search on the internet and it has that, and you can show that to me, like uh, what news you want me to see, in case that I don't read that. Um, but with the newspaper, of course, like um, of course, both in the uh, TV or maybe in the ra on the radio or the on the paper, it can have because although it can store, you can see that the radio and the TV cannot store information so we cannot find that again but um so with the paper we can still store that but when we have to find that again we take a, a lot of time or maybe we, we can never find that well because it's a big mess why do we need to be hurry well hurry is not gonna help you anything because maybe you just wait a little bit but that's fine maybe reading on the phone is faster yes that's true but what's why the hell do we need to be hurrying we can just wait a little bit that's totally fine yeah so if like you can see that if like someone you can see that someone uh, especially for the old people for the elderly people they have a lot of newspaper you can see that maybe they have uh, just the shell to hold the paper to hold the newspaper so you can see that if you want to find that again it take a lot of time maybe you take the whole day so between you take a whole day and it just take you like uh, one minute. So what one do you choose? Of course one minute. Yeah, of course the one minute. But I just told you that why do we need to be in a hurry? Because not many people, they find back some old news that's old. And now we are looking, we update for the new trends and for like the new 
for the new newspaper now. So newspaper is not that bad. Many people nowadays, even young people, they love to read newspapers and also magazine because inside them, they are actually like reading them are actually pretty fun. We can know a lot more and when reading a newspaper, it's a lot more detailed. Like they write more detailed than on a phone. On a phone, maybe that's true news, but it's not as detailed as on a newspaper. I think they both detail the same, but you do. <clears throat> For the one more thing that uh, the other word is the other way to get information don't have it that it's not have the contact between the reader and the writer, the author of that newspaper. So you are with the internet, we can like uh, uh, leave the comment down or you can have some like uh, you can have some feedback to the writer, to the author that you want to, um, that like you have the feeling down between that uh, newspaper or something. So that may be good. Well, I think there's no need for a comment. You have to know that when we read official news on the phone, there's no such thing like comment, except for when we read some kind of, if we search for some nowadays news, we can't comment down them. But if we search for like, is reading books good there is comment down below but when we read news like like the everyday news we can't comment down and i think that it's not a very good it's not a very good like way to comment and you know it's bad for your eyes it's also difficult to read and frustrating advertisements while you read there are maybe some advertisements some adverts on your phone and it's also take a lot of time right we said that reading newspaper take a lot of time so when the advert we have to wait for the advert maybe 30 seconds or maybe one minute any seconds but it's also a lot, very long time and also if you don't watch the advert you have to pay some money so i think it's not a very good it's very inconvenient when we read online news but when we read newspaper we can just spend 10,000 dong or very cheap little money to buy it or even no need to buy it because I see at our neighbor's house there was his grandpa that he usually reads newspaper and he don't even buy it he they just deliver to his house every day so you don't know that because like he had to pay yeah he had to pay the money every month so maybe at the end of the month he pay for all that month that he not pay every day so he so well, you don't see that he pays every day I asked the owner and yes, he did pay, but every month he just need to pay 50,000 them or maybe or less if we if he read less. And I think it's like a very cheap amount of money other than just read and there are some very frustrating advertisement and not related to it. And that see to our fake news. In the advertisement, maybe they will have some kind of news. I think you do read online newspapers sometimes, like ways to treat your acne or Grandpa are so cruel to daughter like that. I think they are all fake news. Sometimes they're true news, but it sounds a little fake to me. It just sound it just sound fake to you, but actually maybe it's not fake. Well, there are fake news. Well, what is the definition of fake news to you? So the fake news is not true. So you have so if you read the news on the internet, you have to find some uh, website that have the news officially and have like many people um, click into that and they believe in that. So when you read newspaper also like that because the newspaper also have some like some company they have some uh, it's not very official it not, not many people like believe in that company to read the news from. So, of course, I think they are the same. Uh, when you, then you are right, because newspaper, they are all true news. Like, I, I, think, I think I already told you that before they publish, they have to check really, really well whether it's true or fake. Other than the phone, we can even, like, post anything we like. If I want to, like, if I want to create my own website, I can create it, but just learn how to create it. But sadly, I'm not old enough. Maybe you are old enough or maybe mom or dad are old enough. So we can easily create a website and just post any news we want, whether it's true or fake news, and nobody will ever know. So, but for the, like, for the newspaper, it's very difficult for us to write a newspaper because if we write them, 
some publisher have to check very very well before we publish so it's totally different so you don't you don't know the i think we uh did know that we have something that we call um fake publish because it's not like um because like uh, for example when we have some uh, newspaper we write the newspaper and we send it to the publisher so we have to check for a long time before publish that but we have fake publish so they don't send to that they publish themselves so that they don't even care if that the truth uh, the news is true or not well if they publish themselves then they would just sell on their own outside the street because if you go to the there are some kind of store that sell newspaper and on top will be a very big sign and there will also be a sign that it is like have been recognized by some of like the publisher but for some of that i think when they publish their own their newspaper will never never be sold from some of that kind of store they just be out of street and sell them to strangers who like really not very in denial of some kind of fake news so if you say it is so i think so i think of course if you said that it also sell to people so people also get that news get that fake but news. nobody ever buy news from some kind i think you yes of course they buy you haven't heard me of all of it maybe you often watch some kind of news on the tv at seven o'clock mm -hmm. so they say that there are some kind of bungaries that they sell news outside the street but it's not a store they just set a table set some news on there and just sell them to strangers and they already told people never never gonna buy it there so the police has gone there and i think now there are no more of that kind of action if they publish themselves, then nobody will ever buy from them. They just buy from an official store. That's all. People are not that stupid, you know. Yeah. So one more thing you have to see at the benefit is that when you finish reading on the internet, so if you get down, you can see more like more news that have the same topic related to that you have read. For example, if you want to read about like some, uh, so now if you go to the Google or you read on the internet, like you read about um learning online so like some new about learning online the benefit or something that are related to that so if you read at the end of the newspaper and you look down you can see that there are more news related to the uh to the topic you want to see it's a newspaper like in a newspaper it has different for example this new paper is about education so there will be several news about education in one very big newspaper yeah but it just have several but if you have a phone so it have a lot of and you cannot count well it's just like on the newspaper if you buy a lot then it also have a lot of news nothing else so you have to take time to have to take time to take money to buy a lot of that and when you read that and you want to and you read the end of that you have to change this newspaper you have to change to change but with that phone you just have that phone it's very convenient well on the phone we also have to change because we have to click to change right so there's no difference while reading it we also have to change it's like we're reading this and we change to this one so it's not too much inconvenient to me i think mm. so on more benefit but it's not the benefit for the reader it's the benefit for the publisher because with the um because now with some publisher they change the way from the published uh, on the paper they change into push it upload it on the internet why because if we uh, if we like uh, print it on the you know, on the paper so it takes like quite a lot of money for the ink for the paper and a lot of the other thing and it take uh, uh it take um, a long time when from like from start to the end but with the online you, you know they just like post that and also they don't take uh, it uh, don't cost them any money for the print mm -hmm, but it don't cost any money but it costs them a lot of money to create the website yeah so so you have to look at the fact and you have to like find about that you see that people nowadays often like especially for the young they read some news uh, on the internet so why do people read on the internet because it's convenient you have to look at that point 
uh, and so uh, beside convenient you have to click on that you just have the phone and you can contact with the author and you can read the news you want and so on some uh, on every newspaper you can both see from the news or maybe you can also hear you can look at some videos and pictures like to uh, illustrate for that news well you say so can you imagine a world that don't have newspaper can you imagine that so why what would change what change i don't see any change because we have the internet how about the elderly the elderly also read on the internet because you can see that with the world that we change and we uh, technology we uh, change every day and we um uh, and we can uh, you can see that we uh contact with the high tech so so that you can see that many elderly people they don't even read on the newspaper they read on read they read on their phone they have their own phone they, they, they can read in that you are wrong because we still need even though less people i do admit that less people in the world nowadays like they don't read much newspaper but we still need them young children even young people like us now they're also very interested in reading them and also for some elderly how about the 80s or the 70s maybe their eyes aren't very properly right so yes. they, so they do need someone to read for them on a newspaper or they can read by themselves by their glasses and you know it do harm their eyes when reading on the phone and also the newspaper on that because you have to look for a long time into the like the letter on the the size of the letter is very small well not every newspaper is small how about the magazine the magazine is different from the newspaper because the magazine have color on there it has some news it have some it also and also sometimes you can see that it's not very informative because it's not like very uh, have very full information in there because and at the end you can see that it has some play and um and you can see that on the magazine it just like about fashion or about something it's not all in there and uh, and uh, if you read them just the magazine you can like you can upload you can uh, get the information you want every day well there are also now colored newspaper things have changed a lot not newspaper nowadays are black and white if you want to find black and white newspaper you should go back to the 80s and 90s now newspaper they do have colored newspaper and do look very attractive not like the old newspaper that have black and white anymore so you do need to look that it's not the old newspaper anymore it's a lot more convenient and we can look and maybe we're interested in it it's not black and white maybe if it's black and white i do admit that some people they're not very interested in exploring but when we have colored in newspaper we do have it now then it's very interesting and very colorful so one more thing you said that you have to uh, we have to like things about the elderly but in but just in this time you have to think for a long time in this time because it's between their ex gens and the zest gen so it can be some old people that they have some uh, and that they live uh, in some like they live in the time that also that still have the war and until now and they like feel familiar to read the newspaper but you can see that now so we are children but time passed maybe for uh, 10 years 20 more years so maybe um for or maybe 50 more years so that time we're not children anymore we, we wouldn't be the elderly mm -hmm, so. yeah so at that time you read on the newspaper or you read on your phone i'll definitely be on newspaper when i'm old mm -hmm. so i can see it that's true uh-huh so you have to wait because i think Reading is for, are very beneficial because I remember from a long time when I go to our hometown, do you, I think you don't remember, but our grandpa, he also read newspaper in the evening, like because now our uncle have a new house near our grandparents' house. And when we go, we usually live in the new house. We don't usually go to our old house anymore. So I see that now our grandpa at night, he usually read newspaper yeah so i say that it just in this time because the elderly people they leave from the time still have war until now so they feel familiar to read the newspaper but now we the children and when children grow up they be the elderly so they have more contact to high tech 
so they never read newspaper. Well, I think that the problem the problem is that when we have much high tech, it will be like not very. Like I think you already heard of it. When we also have like the more and the more technology we have, the less family we have and the less love we have for each other. So I think that when the world developed very much and also for the news online developed, I think it's not a very good sign. But you, I think that you a bit like out of topic because you we we, we uh, talk about newspaper. I think it's not out of the topic. I think it's true because the more like newspaper are now online, right? And what will happen if the world started change and change and change? It would definitely be very high tech. And I think the more of it, there will be a very bad sign because. For example, we read so many news online and watch videos too from a family from when they are poor, they're very loved but when they are rich, they start to grow a business they do not care for each other anymore so I think that but I still think that reading newspaper is good even though we don't really read it but I think we still need to have it Yeah, so it just depends on you, I don't care about that Well, then you are wrong Many people do care about it So if you watch the news in the morning, I often watch it with dad in the morning. At about 7 o'clock, they will have a show called Review Some News, and they will show the news on newspaper. Every morning, some newspaper will be published every morning. It's not like you, you have, you said you have to wait, but not wait. Yeah, but you have to wait every day. So maybe something... So do you read newspaper at night in 12 no. o'clock? No. So why do we need that? We can read newspaper because... A phone is not for us to use every day. We do have time to read newspaper. Maybe we read in the morning or in the evening, anytime. But like just like the phone, the news we publish every day on the phone and just like the newspaper. It's not like the phone they publish this time, that time. They have the time to publish, right? Yeah, so so you can say that if something happened, maybe um, it happened at the... Uh, it's six o'clock and some and some new paper they just publish every day and so in the night in the night a.m. of every day you can have the news from the yesterday up to the night uh, the night a.m. today but what happened if like if if today we have the something happen at uh, six p.m. so we have to to wait until tomorrow to know that but with the phone you can know it immediately. Well, with the phone, well, the first thing happened is on the news on TV first. And then it's the newspaper and then it's the phone. You have to know, like, the time of it. It's not just... Yeah, so so on um, the news on TV, you, saw, you can see that it had the news on TV is half at, like, 7 p.m. And also in the morning at uh, 6, uh, 6 a.m., right. At different times, too, not just that. Yeah, at two time. But we can have different times. Mm -hmm. So what time more? You should search, I don't know, but different time, not just 7 or 2, 6 or o'clock. It can be 8 or sometime about in the afternoon too, not just that time. So I saw, so I talk about the news of BTV1. It has two times, like in the, in the 6 a.m. and in the 7 p.m. So at the two time there, we can know the news. But if something happened, so they cannot upload it right immediately because they finished the news, so we have to wait tomorrow to know about that. Uh-huh, so what? The TV is just like the online news, right? It's just like the phone. The more we talk, I think, the more we confused. Okay, so what's our conclusion? So I think we the, um, the benefit and the convenience and also the fast we can get the information. I think we should read on the internet. Well, no matter what, well, just to be honest, I think Reading on the phone is quite convenient, but I still disagree with that. And also for reading on newspaper, no matter what happened, maybe like nobody reads it anymore, nobody ever reads it, but some people, they still read it, you know? You say that nobody, and you say some people, it's very confused. Okay, so like maybe not many people read it, but some people, they still read it. You have to think about the others too, not just about yourself, right? So we still need that and... I think it will never change. Just you wait and see. Many, many years, newspaper will still have and it will never end. Mm -hmm. Okay.